I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a neck frilly uh -oh. In the butt. In the butt. <laughs> oh my goodness, CJ. Okay, so <coughs> what you got to start with is so what I do is you draw the head like this. Right, and then I'm gonna draw like the regular head and all of that. And now the neck, you gotta make the neck proportional to the neck, really. Ooh, ooh. Ah! okay. I'm going to draw the top. So, so the easiest way how to draw it is like is oh, just simple. Guy. Just big simple. There we go. It's like a donut or whatever it's called. There's the neck piece. And now I'm going to draw I'm gonna draw over it. <laughs> okay, the top part. There, there we go. Okay, now you just need to add lines like this. Like, you could, you could add them, you could make them straight, but I like to put a little curvature in them. Mm, that looks kind of derpy. But yeah, I like to add a little curvature to them to add a little dynamicness. So it makes a little fold with the, with the thing of the neck. Okay, now I'm going to draw the bottom part. Okay, now the bottom part looks, when you look at it, it looks hard. But it's actually pretty um, simple, I guess. I don't know. It depends. But like this. Wee You just draw them squigglies. And I'll I'll show you like the hard way to draw it too. But it, it it's even like difficult for me, so yeah. So the hard way is without like this line. So you pretty much do something like, I'm just going to draw the head like right here. Okay, now I'm going to sketch. Oh my goodness, that's so uneven. I bet I have the worst drawing habits. Oof. Okay, so I'm going to draw over this. Like the lines like so. I think this version looks better though, honestly. So that's why I do that version more. And yeah, you do it, and then you do it yeah, under so here, like add little lines. You ready for lunch? Like below yeah, the frills. Yeah, wait a minute, what? Yeah. I can, I can give you cottage cheese, potato salad, 
turkey and cheese sandwiches, mac and cheese. I'll have um like macaroni and cheese with cottage cheese and potato salad. Okay. So you so you add those, the those lines geeky, down here. It looks kind of derpy since I have haven't done this in forever. Uh, okay, now you connect the lines with here. Like with the side of here to add some some like fold so see how I did like both of these this is more the more realistic version and then this is the more cartoony version and then we're gonna go over this again it kind of looks like a like the Taco Bell lo logo like that the up part and then add the lines like this and then the bottom part and then if you're like confused about the frill part it goes kind of like in this pattern. Like you're kind of like folding it on top of each other. And if you want to add more detail to the lines, you could do something like this, like add little in between lines oof my pen won't work okay and then I'll do a little bit <coughs> more simple I'll draw like the neck as a little stump because he's decapitated, I guess. And then here's a version without any of the little like curves. Just do regular lines like this. Like so. And things like these are like pretty hard to do, so um, I don't know. It, frills are really hard for me. Like they're still hard for me, so it's okay if you're an artist and you have like trouble drawing those, because those are pretty hard to master. we go um <laughs> and then there's like a pointy version there's a um like that that's probably hardest to do for me that was the hardest for me to do okay this needs a sketch It's a little Taco Bell. Uh, I'm just going to draw the draw line, I guess, down here. So you get the basic where that little lump is supposed to go. It's supposed to go, like, right on the neck. It's supposed to hold the neck, I guess. And then you draw little, like, zigzag lines like that. I think this neck for frilly, like it's, it looks more sinister, sharper. 
because um, sharper shapes make a make a more mean looking character. I guess it's all about the silhouette. I'm not good at silhouette, but I I'm trying. I'm trying. Most anime art styles don't really have silhouette. Unless they're like video game, um, unless they're video game anime, something like that. Like Final Fantasy has really good silhouette. Okay, there we go. You just need to like connect those lines. Um, make sure it doesn't look like. This, when it's connected, if it's like super close, it would it, it would look like less realistic, I guess. Okay, now we're gonna connect the lines like this. Like, imagine you're drawing a skirt, but on somebody's neck. <coughs> so we're gonna draw it like this. Why are you turning Justin Bieber on in the background? That's cancerous music. Yeah. And then there's lines. You could do it like this. That's like the easiest version. The hardest version is like this. Oh my god, that looks terrible, but you know what I mean, right? Okay, now we're gonna connect the lines. They need to be a little bit curved. Oh wait, nah, that doesn't look good. Um, yeah, we're gonna connect the lines like this. There we go. Oh my god, I keep messing up. <laughs> And that looks kind of derpy, but like, <laughs> yeah. So I I hope that helps. I don't know. So yeah. I'm just gonna <laughs> die. I'm gonna go now. Bye.